Hey, Disney family, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the resort that we stayed in, in our, uh, on our Disney trip. Um, seeing as we have three young kids, it just made sense to stay in the most family-friendly, kid-oriented resort that Disney offers, which is, of course, the Art of Animation. Uh, the way the Art of Animation works is there are sections of the park, and um, each section is kind of developed to look and, and feel like you're a part of a specific movie. So right behind the um, resort main building where like the ink and paint shop, which is their gift shop, um, the cafeteria, check-in, registration, the arcade, all that kind of stuff. Right behind that is what they call the Big Blue. Um, it is the largest swimming pool out of the entire resort. Um, it's got a zero entry uh, area for small children. There's a splash pad in the back. When you go underwater, you can hear the Finding Nemo soundtrack, which is really, really cool. There's big statues everywhere from the movie. So the Ray and Nemo and Marlin. Um, I'm pretty sure that Gil is one of them too. Crush is there. Um, it's a big pool and that's because almost everyone, no matter what part of the park or resort you're staying in, you swim in that pool. There's a swim up bar, which is cool. <laughs> um, we didn't take advantage of that. It was too darn cold to swim the entire week we were there. The highest it got was 73. The lowest it got was 38. Not gonna swim. Um, so, and then on either side of that pool is the Finding Nemo section of the resort. Um, and then I'm the way I'm going to orient myself as I'm walking out the back of the um, main building looking straight forward is Finding Nemo. If you look off to your right, it is the um, car section. That's the section we actually stayed in the last time. Um, so it's pretty proximity wise, it's pretty close uh, to everything. We stayed in a suite the last time. That suite cost us like $390 a night. Um, it had a main bedroom, a full bathroom off of that, a dining area, a living room, another full bathroom, and a little kitchen area. Um, cars area was awesome. There's um, life-size replicas of all the cars there. They have working headlights. Um, it, it was really, that was a cool section. Um, Finding Nemo section up at the top, one of the buildings are the uh, seagulls from the movie. And they say, well, mine, 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 the whole time, it's cute. They make that noise when you walk by and it's loud. Uh, thankfully they do cut it off at nighttime so you don't hear it then. But, um, and then you walk through, uh, on the left, you walk through um, the Lion King. So they've got like Mufasa and Scar and Simba, Timon and Pumbaa and uh, Rafiki is there, and then Zazu, the little uh, hornbill. Um, so those creatures are out, they play the music uh, from Cars is out, they play the music from Finding Nemo, and they play the music from Lion King. And then if you walk through Lion King, you get to the last portion of the resort, and that is the Little Mermaid, which is like the economy portion, but we thought, well, I've got a daughter, we might as well stay in Little Mermaid this time to make her happy. Um, seeing as that is like the, one of the main princesses for Disney, they really could have done a better job with that resort. I was kind of like, what? You know, cause when you go, to, like when we stay in the car section, entry to your room and all that was inside. Uh, you walked in doors and then you walked into elevators. For the Little Mermaid, it was all, it was like a bad hotel. Um, the elevators were outdoors. The entry to your door was outdoors. Um, when you walk in the room, it was like, Oh, okay, there's some seashell uh, headboards and a picture of Prince Eric, which I'm like, wah, <laughs> Ariel, darn it. Um, the floor kind of looks like you're underwater, I guess. Uh, the uh, dresser kind of looks like a treasure chest-ish. And then the bathroom is dark blue tile, which made it feel very small, which me being claustrophobic was like, Okay, but they made it look like Ariel's grotto, so it needed to be dark. Ariel was on the shower curtain, which was awkward when you're taking a shower and like, ah, no, <laughs> weird. Um, but the outpour, outer portion of it, so there's a big statue of Ursula and a huge statue of King Triton and a massive statue of Ariel and Flounder. Um, so you'll see videos of that. I'll put that in here. Outdoors was cool. The pool was small, which I was kind of surprised by. Not as small as the Cars one. Cars has the cozy cone. Um, and it's a teeny tiny little circle pool. Like there's no reason to even swim in it. The Lion King didn't even have a pool, um, but the Little Mermaid one did. Then there's the big blue and then the cars. But uh, our Little Mermaid room was basically like a hotel room. Um, it wasn't fancy by any means. Uh, I've actually stayed at nicer hotels, uh, to be honest. So that part of the resort was kind of disappointing. Uh, I guess I just had higher expectations from Disney, especially since she's one of their leading ladies, but okay. But the actual like, 
check-in area, um, that part is really cool. When you walk in, the whole wall to your right is all concept art from the movies. So there's pictures and drawings from way back when they were still kind of in the brainstorming stage of, of making these movies. And oh, I'll put some photos in so you guys can see them. They are so, so, me being an art major, love that wall. Um, the Ink and Paint Shop, I've been told, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've been told is the largest gift shop out of any of the resorts. And it is huge. I also took a video in there so you guys could see that. Massive, massive, massive gift store. Almost, almost anything that's in the parks, I guess you should say Magic Kingdom, you can get at the Ink and Paint Shop. So let's say you thought, oh gosh, I forgot to buy that. Well, you can pick it up at the Ink and Paint Shop. Um, yeah, as I think back, it's mainly just Magic Kingdom. They don't have anything from Animal Kingdom, Epcot, or Hollywood Studios. So just an FYI there. Um, they got pins and hats and clothes and animals and magnets and food. I mean, you name it, it's there. A really, really, really nice shop. Hey YouTube, so now I'm at our resort, which is the Art of Animation. If you look behind me, you can see all this awesome concept art that they do here. Uh, that's all a part of the animation. You can see down the wall all the way down. This place is really a lot of fun. So you can see there's the um, concierge desk, their fun Christmas tree up there. The light even has like um, artwork that's done by the artists. But my favorite, of course, is this wall of lit up artwork done by all the Disney artists over the years. I think it's really just so much fun. All right, so obviously they've got stuff for the bigger kids, the really bigger kids. <laughs> like adults and then of course hats and ears they've got artwork which is awesome oh ariel they've even got brushes that are in the shape of a fork absolutely love this art of animation t-shirts mugs you guys this place is awesome if you have kids this is definitely the place to go um i don't think any other resort except for maybe like i don't know the caribbean beach which i think is set up like pirates but um the kids are just gonna love this place so much stuff to look at so much stuff to see of course the majority of the artwork is going to be centered and themed around whatever is at this resort so there's a lot of little mermaid lion king um all that kind of good stuff ooh, 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 ooh. love 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 that one Looks to be about 95 bucks. <laughs> but when you love something, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, of course, there's just all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, literally anything you could really want, need, <laughs> but, you know, quote unquote need, is here. So, my dad walked up and he didn't want to be on camera, so I had to turn it off. But um, on the other side, of course, I've got stuff for the adults. Yes, please. All kinds of fun kitchen gadgets. Snacks galore, breakfast foods in case you forgot some. Mugs of every kind and color. Every single stuffed animal you could possibly want. Toys for every age. This place literally, if you saw it in the parks, more than likely they have it here. So, and I'm telling you now, just about everything that we are looking at right at the moment, we did see in the parks, including the treats. So here's all the Christmas uh, items that we saw in the parks are also available here, including all the clothing, dolls, animators collection. Pretty much if you saw it and you wanted it, but you didn't want to lug it through the park or send it to the front in case you forget, this place has it all. So that's pretty cool. I love this collection. It is so neat. And there's a whole section of Stitch, which of course makes me happy because I love Stitch. Um, one thing we're kind of getting into, oddly enough, are the pins that you can get here. So I'll take you over there so you can kind of see what the pins are available. So here at the Art of Animation, they have pretty much all the pins you could find in the park, including a few others. And then each resort has pins that are exclusive to that resort. So like there's one specifically for the Art of Animation, which I picked up last night. And we'll do a, um, a uh, Disney haul video when I get home. There's a Lilo and Stitch starter pack. And then of course, everyone gets a magic band if they book a trip. But if you wanted to switch it out, 
um, you can. They have all different characters and such, which I'm like, yeah, mine's free. I'm good with that. You want to commemorate your uh, 2018 visit? They've got all kinds of goodies to do that, including ears. But yeah, that is pretty much in a nutshell the gift shop here at Art of Animation, guys. So if you do plan to stay here, make sure you give the ink and paint shop a look-see because there is so much going on here. Anyone of any age would be able to find something that they... And then right off of the ink and paint shop is the cafeteria. So that's where you can buy your breakfast every morning if you wanted to. If you're on the meal plan, you can do quick service and snacks there. Um, you can get all kinds of drinks from normal drinks to adult drinks. Um, that's where you get your uh, free mug that you get to take with you everywhere. You get free refills the entire time. I actually, until yesterday, still got free refills on my mug, <laughs> even though I wasn't there to use it. Um, but we got through December 17, 2018 to fill up our mug. So if I wanted to fly down and fill up my mug, I certainly could, but hello. Um, the cafeteria is massive. I mean, it's a huge resort and a lot of people stay there because you know it is family friendly. It's geared towards children. It is what they call an economy resort. So it is cheaper to stay there. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people do stay there. So the cafeteria needed to be massive and it is huge. The uh, drink station alone is just one big circle and there's multiple areas where you can fill your cups, wash out your mugs, you name it. Um, there's multiple checkout lines. There's, I mean, tons and tons of different types of food. There's a snack station, which is in refrigerators. There's an ice cream bar. And then there was just, I mean, you name it, sections after sections after sections from burgers to a ciabatta sandwich with mozzarella and balsamic vinegar. I mean, you name it, it was there. Um, we ate dinner there um friday and then we did use up the rest of our snacks there too we had like 36 extra snacks on friday so we used them up there um in the park and there we brought home some really fun stuff that way but that part of the resort i love um the concierge service they're wonderful there um they took our our luggage since check-in was until three and we got there at nine o'clock in the morning on monday they took our stuff they held it until our room was ready and then they took it to our room it was in our room waiting for us um great great help there um wonderful people almost everyone we talked to was extremely helpful our only hang up the entire week was and this is why my videos are coming after the fact we had zero wi-fi in our room the entire week we called every single day and they kept giving us the same line of we'll send a boost to your router we'll send a boost to your router and we'll call you back and never got another return call never had wi-fi um wi-fi in the parks was shoddy at best um but yeah, zero Wi-Fi connectivity in our room. I don't know if it's because we were too far away or what, just no Wi-Fi. <laughs> and when you're a vlogger like myself and you have videos to upload and you can't, that was really, really, really frustrating. So my apologies, guys. That is why my videos did not get uploaded until now. Plus, I guess it is a little bit easier to sit back and talk to you this way than it would be with three kids and a wife running around. So life goes on. Um, but yeah, there's my Mickey shirt. Um, all in all, the, the, the resort is great. Um, super, super kid friendly. I mean, the, the staff is there to help you out if you need anything. We were actually locked out of our room. Even though our room was ready, we couldn't get into it when we got back at midnight. Um, they sent a runner to us immediately who got into our room, made sure our bands were um, activated to get into the room. They take care of you there. That much I will tell them, minus the Wi-Fi. So um, yeah. Like I said, I'll, I put some videos in, hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea. Uh, the, my favorite part of it, of course, is the gift shop just because it's so awesome. My kids love all the statues everywhere. So if you've got young children, do it. It, it's, it may be a little bit farther away from the parks, but the stay is worth it. The rooms are cute. Um, if we go back again, I hope we get into the Finding Nemo section. I really wanna stay in those rooms. They are the more ex expensive. The way it works is unless you book, which they book fast, because it is the cheapest part of that resort. If you book a Little Mermaid, that's about it. Otherwise, you don't know if you're gonna stay in Lion King, Finding Dory, and Finding Nemo, or, or Cars. They, you don't find out until you're there. So that was kind of like, oh, you know, well, we stayed at Cars now, so maybe we can get into the Finding Nemo one next time. If not, it'll be the Lion King or we might stay somewhere else. <laughs> I kind of want to check out the Polynesian Resort. I think that one would be kind of fun. Um, we will not be staying in Grand Floridian anytime soon. My kids are too young. <laughs> and I'm sure you with young children will completely understand. But yeah, so like I said, definitely give it a look-see. Um, totally, totally worth it with young children. Their eyes will just be 
the whole time. So much to look at, so much to do, and so much to spend your money on. So anyhow, guys, thanks for tagging along. Let me know your thoughts about it down below if you've stayed there or a resort that you have stayed at that you enjoy. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. We want everyone's opinion because when we go back, we might not stay there. We might stay at another place. So we always stay on park, though. That is one thing I will say. Always, always, always stay on park. Uh, that way you can get your dining plan. Otherwise, you can't get your dining plan, and you're going to pay through the nose for food, and it's not worth it. So, yes. Let me know what you think below. We post a video every Saturday, uh, always Disney themed. That's why the hence the name Disney Dad 83 um, every single Saturday. So um, these are kind of special intermittent videos because of our trip that we just got back from. But after this, it will be straight back to every single Saturday. So if that's your thing. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our videos come out. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.